Hey guys, and here we are back for another one. Now, today I've got here with me the cheapest box that I could find uh, with the SOC AM Logic S905. Now, with cheap machines, uh, there are always compromises to be made. It doesn't matter if it's an Android TV box, if it's a laptop, a car, or anything else. But the question is, are we ready for those compromises? Now, the spoiler alert on this particular video is if you are looking for a machine that can play your video library flawless, by the way, then this might be an option. On the other hand, if you are looking for something for gaming as well, then just forget this video and run away for something else. Now, that being said, let's cut the chit chat and let's go straight for the video. Hope that you guys enjoy it as always, and I'll see you in a few seconds. And we are back. So here we are with the next box A95X that features the AM Logic S905, uh, one gigabyte of DDR3 RAM, and eight gigabytes of flash uh, storage with Android Lollipop 5.1.1. Now, regarding the unboxing experience, really quickly, uh, once we open the package, which is really simple there's nothing to it uh, we will find the next box on the top protected by a plastic envelope one infrared remote control hdmi cable power uh, adapter and a quick user guide which uh, as i usually say we don't need user guide for the, <laughs> these devices but that's my opinion now taking a closer look at it uh, first of all i would like to mention that this is uh, one of the smallest if not the smallest android tv box that i've ever tested uh, it's really small especially compared uh, with other machines like the a9 which i believe that i'm showing on screen uh, the a9 from nextbox as a regular size and one compared to the other one this is really small and thin i also uh, compared with my iphone se so that you guys can have a better idea of the size and it's really really <laughs> small and lightweight by the way now the plastic and build quality it's nothing special um it's just a cheap plastic because this is a cheap uh, machine actually just check out the uh, link on the description and you'll see that it's one of the cheapest machines if not the cheapest machine on the market and with the am logic s905 uh, it is the cheapest one that i could find now regarding the uh, overall design uh, or the connectivity to be more precise on the right hand side we will find two usb 2.0 ports and one micro sd card slot at the front uh, we have no ports at all only a very dim blue light when the device is on and uh, it turns red when the device is off on the left hand side no ports at all and then on the back we have a power input jack um, one hdmi av out and a gigabit um, ethernet connection now on the bottom we have some cooling vents and on the top the next box air uh, a 95 x logo on the top um, and that's about it so one of the things that i would like to mention here is that usually boxes have a rubberized plastic on the bottom and this one doesn't have in particular so it will slip on any uh, surface but um, this is something to uh, that you will have to decide if it will uh, bother you or not now moving on to the launcher there is no news we have seen it uh, many times before so my message here as usual on this kind of machine is just install any launcher of your preference just go to the Google Play Store search for a free one and you will be able to install any launcher that you like on my particular case I always use the KKM launcher uh, which suits my style and my way of uh, browsing these machines but you will be able to um, to choose the one that you want now regarding the remote control which I posted which I placed uh, inside the box but I'll post some images on screen uh, the remote control is an infrared remote control and nothing uh, special actually uh, it's a cheap remote and cheap plastic as this is a cheap Android TV box as we said uh, so nothing wrong with that um, if we are looking for something on a budget but my message here is just check out my wireless remote uh, control comparison because that's what I advise on any machine just get a wireless remote and you will be able to get a, a much better uh, experience out of your box it doesn't matter which box it is now one thing that I would like to mention on this remote for those of you that will purchase this machine and will uh, stay with this remote is that it has a, a nice and simple function it's not the first remote with that function we have seen others but it's always nice to see that this remote can uh, grab um, 
functions from other remotes, uh, um, namely the, the remote from our TV. So we can capture uh, the functions from our TV remote, which is great. At least uh, five buttons we can um, we can record so that we can use the same remote for the Android TV box and also for uh, our TV we just want remote and that that is really nice but uh, it's not a wireless remote so uh, once again guys just check out the video and uh, you will not reg regret uh, actually I've got one here you will be able to see this one on the <laughs> uh, wireless remote uh, comparison video this is a really cheap remote and it's way way better than any infrared remote that we will find uh, available on the market now moving along to the benchmarks and I'm sure that I'm posting on the screen already uh, Regarding the disk speed test, we got 55 uh, megabytes on reads, which is not bad for a budget machine, and 7.2 megabytes on writes, which is um, in line with other budget box boxes. Sorry. Uh, in terms of network speed test, we got 44 megabits on download and 20 on upload on the Wi-Fi, and then on the Ethernet connection, 95 on download and 20 on upload. On Geekbench 3, we got 598 on single core score and 1,739 on multi core score. And to two with roughly 36,000 uh, 3D Mark score, I Storm Extreme with 4,000, and then finally on Epic Citadel. Uh, 41 45.1 uh, uh, frames per second on average score so what I can say regarding these benchmarks is that this machine um, gives us values very similar to other machines with the AM logic s905 now one of the things that we have to have in mind is that this uh, box only has one gigabyte of RAM uh, and we have seen other boxes with two gigabytes of RAM more expensive of course um, and this leads me to the next topic which is gaming as I said on the intro this is not a machine for gaming and I'll post uh, as well something on screen um now in terms of gaming the experience will not be uh, will not be uh, good even if we have the AM Logic S905 and my belief is that this is due to the one gigabyte of RAM that we have and we will feel the machine sluggish on 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 gaming I did try uh, well I, I tried to play four games only two I could actually <laughs> play um, but I will explain a little bit why I only played two but the point is heavy apps will suffer from the lack of RAM so I would not advise this machine for gaming uh, it also has one problem which is well one problem it's a, a limitation it's not a problem uh, it doesn't have Bluetooth so I could not plug in my iPega 1928 gamepad through Bluetooth and it doesn't accept my USB gamepad the Logitech F710 so I could not play any kind of games uh, those games that I usually play on these uh, machines Asphalt 8 Responables and so on and so forth I could not play so that's one of the reasons that I said this machine is not able to play games because we cannot connect uh, game pads. The other reason is lack of, of RAM that makes this machine a bit unstable when we open games. Uh, so this is the reason that I mentioned that games is not um, the best option for um, for this machine now on the other hand if you want this machine for video playback then this is as i said on the intro as well one of the cheapest if not the cheapest machine it was at least the one that i could find at the lowest price possible in terms of video playback it played everything it comes with uh, Kodi 16.1 um, with a lot of add-ons and things like that uh, which usually what I do is just uh, remove and then install a clean installation of Kodi but the point is that uh, on both versions of Kodi it worked flawless I had no issues at all uh, so if we are looking once again for a cheap machine for movie playback this is a nice option I was able to play uh, as usual my library uh, I've got MKV Blu-ray files uh, up to 20 30 gigabytes uh, of um, size um, and they played fine I also played as always <laughs> big book bunny tears of steel and Sintel uh, and played fine up to 4k resolution with h264 and h265 and finally uh, I wanted to see if you it was possible of playing because all the machines that I have with s905 did so I played 10-bit videos um, Iceland and dive into the new world which are really heavy videos uh, with 10-bit 
and it played just awesome as you can see um, on the image. Also I would like to, to remember that all my files are on my NAS and streamed across my network. Nothing was attached directly through a uh, USB stick or USB drive. Everything from the network. So that shows that the machine has enough power uh, to play video playback. And this is my message because before I move on, this is my message. Um, gaming on one hand is not the target of this machine uh, but if you want something really really cheap that can play everything that you have this might not be a bad option at all now before we go to the conclusion i also tried airplay because it's something that we use a lot here at home uh, and it worked fine i did play with my iphone se um, and as you can see on the images, it was uh, flawless doing the uh, streaming and mirroring to the TV. I also streamed and mirrored the uh, iMac so that I could uh, transmit the uh, photos, slideshows on the fly. And I did try with magazine style, sliding panels as always, and vintage prints. And both image and audio was uh, Perfect. So this is another pro for this machine. And that is it guys. So in conclusion for the next box A95X, my opinion, all the things that I, that I did like the most are uh, the price point of course of this machine, uh, which is, as I said a few times, the cheapest that I could find with the AM Logic S905. This machine comes rooted from factory, so you will be able to uh, install a few apps that require root. It has a smooth video playback on Kodi. It has a very very small form factor. Uh, once again, the, the quality is nothing special, but in terms of design, I like it. It's lightweight, it's thin, it's small. Uh, you can even hide it uh, under the TV and no one knows that you have an Android TV box over there. And then finally, it's capable of um, AirPlay um, both uh, iOS and uh, Mac OS to our TV. Now, on the other hand, things that I did like the least, it has no Bluetooth. So if you if you want to connect uh, an audio um, headset or any gamepad, which was my objective, you will not be able to. So that was one of the things that I did like the least. And the other one is that uh, this machine is not capable of playing games, uh, mainly because of two reasons. One of which is the lack of RAM that makes uh, heavy apps like games uh, to freeze the machine and sometimes to have audio interruptions. Uh, and of course, uh, as well, the lack of connectivity for gamepad and audio uh, headsets and that is it guys Th this is what I can say about this machine uh, as always cheap machines have compromises and these are the compromises that I could find for this box so uh, just to reinforce my message here regarding this particular machine is if you are looking for something for gaming once again as I said on the intro this is not it if you are looking uh, for something for your movie mu music playback uh, and airplay then this is a option to consider and that is it I will not waste more of your time. Guys, hope that you enjoyed uh, this video. As always, my name is Roberto George and I'll see you on the next one.